Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram. Still raining in Portland, so. <laughs> We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on X. These are my favorite kind of shows. Yeah. These are shows where I spend the uh, evening and Stephanie spends the evening finding funny little clips of Megan and Harry anywhere in the world. And this time it happened to be in Nigeria. But uh, we've done this before on many occasions. And we uh, zoom in and we find the funny parts and we slow motion them and we share them with you. And we have a little laugh. Not a little laugh, a big laugh. So these are my my favorite, <laughs> favorite shows. But before we get to that, I wanted to touch upon that picture that we discussed during our live on, I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. I had seen it up on Megan's Mole's X page and it tickled me, but I didn't know 100% if it was real. Now, this has nothing to do with because I saw it on Mole's page because of, she puts out true stuff all the time. It had to do, it, it was such a ridiculous picture. Stephanie had looked at it too. And, and she even said, that's Photoshop. There is, is it? it. Okay. There, because I was like, there is absolutely no way that this is real because it was just so hilarious. The way he's placed, the way he's dressed, her expression, you could not get a better picture. But guys, it is a hundred percent real. What? Six squad pretty much uh, said it was real. I mean, they're going around oh, saying it's okay. real. You can never really trust Sussex Squad, okay? But they said Princess Megan was in good hands in Nigeria. Around rich oh, black women. I mean, do you know how awful that sounds? The, the, this was a dinner that had the most affluent women in Nigeria attend. I know. And the Sussex Squad said Princess Megan was in good hands with an armed security guard behind her. In what way was she in any harm? In any danger at all? I mean, that's the offense that no one's seen on the Sussex Squad side. Yeah. They just think this is cool. Thank goodness the woman who, uh, to the right, in the pretty blue dress, she was the MC. This was on her original page and she's the one that put it up. So this is authentic. To the left is Megan's bodyguard. So she not only has that guy, she also has the bodyguard and he's walking around and then she has her main bodyguard. I don't know where he is. He's probably ready to jump somebody at any moment. This to me is the trifecta. This picture is just hilarious. So we know it's real guys. So when I started taking everyone's requests, I felt better about it because I'm like, okay, it's a real picture now. We're not just putting stuff behind her. I pretty much was true to my word. Immediately that Tuesday night, I was just putting out pictures mm -hmm. of requests that people were giving me. So here is Robocop protecting Megan. Prince in, Princess Megan. Princess Megan. It's a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper protecting Princess Megan. There's the Terminator. Oh. <laughs> Darth Vader. I can't remember who, who requested this, but this was funny. Darth Vader. Black Panther. Oh my God, Wakanda Forever. Those movies are so good. Did you ever even watch yeah. those? Yeah, those are great movies. Yeah. Someone requested Donald Trump and I thought the one of him kissing the flag was the best one to put behind her. I thought this one was great. Someone also requested that time that Joe Biden was um, swearing in a senator from Delaware. It was Senator Coons and he was sniffing his daughter the entire time. He wasn't sniffing. He was, I think he was kissing and, 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 and uh, yeah. saying sweet nothings. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, you guys ask and here you go. Here is the one of Biden. I had to keep the bodyguard in the back. And then uh, Skippy, Philip, he wanted alien. Oh, alien. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And this one's my favorite. I love Jason. Somebody said I should do all the uh, Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers, all that stuff. But I got to be honest with you, this one, I saved it for last because yeah. it's my 100% favorite one. Jason Voorhees protecting Megan in Nigeria. You can't get any better than that. I mean, she's not going to get any better security. I'll no. tell you that much right now. So that was a real picture. Yep. We have confirmed this. Yes, and I'll show you the video. Okay. Before we get to the oh, video, wow. this was me just being silly. That's adorable. This is me being, they're laughing at her. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would, I see that. Yes. yes. They're not protecting her. They're laughing <laughs> they're at laughing her. They're laughing at her. Megan, nobody's laughing with you. They're laughing at you. You can say it again. 
This was I think it, event, I, I think it's important that we say it this again. event was for the most affluent women in Nigeria. Okay. And everybody, people like us are always saying Megan hates black women. She hates black women. Okay, so now we have confirmation she did have this dude there. Yeah, that doesn't mean she hates I'm black women. I'm not saying that. I'm <laughs> saying that I think she has a disdain for women in general. And it's just interesting that she brings, you know, the Terminator to uh, to an event with so many women. That I mean, could you imagine what the women are thinking? Well, this is the thing. The Were royals... they giving money to even be there? I don't know. Who I knows? think so, probably. Oh, yeah. So there he is. He is real. Mm -hmm. He is real. And he's wearing sunglasses inside. And see, the thing about the royals that I find interesting and fascinating, you never see their bodyguards. Because it makes people uncomfortable. It makes the common people like us, like it would make me uncomfortable seeing bodyguards. Does he have a gun? Oh, yeah. Do you know how scary Allegedly, he I have no idea. Oh, okay, I don't know. I, I mean, just... it looks like he does. Now he's, now he's, look at that. No, he was real. He He's was real. he was 100% real. Yeah, so that's that's bizarre. I mean, I've been to charity events with people way more yeah. famous than Meghan Markle. With more money worth, that if they got kidnapped. Worth yeah. way more money than Meghan Markle. I mean, a could you imagine Meghan Markle's ransom? What would that go for? Everyone would be like, uh, our hands are tied. Our hands are tied, guys. There's no way we have the funds. We'll look into it. I mean, she's not the Lindenberg baby. You know I know what I mean? It's, she's not. <laughs> that's bizarre. Well, it's okay. He was real. I thought he was fake. Nancy just confirmed it. Okay, let's get to the video. As always, we're going to play you the video and then I'll have a slow motion version of it and Stephanie and I can talk uh, over it because it's going to be get ready, cringe, warning. <laughs> As Masson would say, trigger warning. <laughs> This is cringe. She's getting a gift, but you can see that she is just disgusted by it or yeah. she either. Okay. Megan, and she showed this in Rwanda. She doesn't like certain smells mm -hmm. and I'm just going to leave it at that. And you, and Megan doesn't do a very good job at expressing when she doesn't like certain smells. So um, she doesn't have a great poker face. That's what no, you're saying. No, and she no also, poker face. Yeah, there. and she also does this thing where if she doesn't want you near her, mm -hmm. she will Ugh. keep you like this Whoa. with her arm. Yeah, yeah, at, at a arm's length. Yes. Yeah, yeah she just sort of push her. Mm -hmm. Not push her, but just kind of yeah, keep me. Don't get near don't, me. No, yeah, and the nose. I see the nose. Like, you can't, you can't. <laughs> it's embarrassing. No, her mask definitely fell a lot during the Nigeria trip. Yeah. yeah. The next one, this has been going around for a while, but I was out of town and that's why I couldn't make fun of it. But <laughs> Stephanie was the one to call my attention on this one. She would not move. She was stationary. She could be a power forward in the NBA. That's how stationary Meghan Markle was in this photo. <laughs> yeah. She was not going to move to put her husband, Prince Harry of the realm, next to her. She's not going to do that. Now just watch. It's That's just so, so mean. So pathetic. <laughs> It's so mean. He's the he's Prince Harry. I don't know. I think because I grew up with this kid. Uh -oh. But, oh, man, she's just not going to move. She's not going to budge. And the woman next to Harry is like, well, you can stand here. I'll go behind you. But the, look, look at his face. Look at the defeat on his face. Why? Yeah. Why is that poor woman having to move back? Gosh. And then he's just it's embarrassing. We need to free Harry. She definitely wants him to know his station in life. And it's behind her at all times. <sighs> Sad. This isn't funny. Now it's get Nancy. You're getting kind of bleak. A little dark. <laughs> you're welcome to Lagos. You're welcome to the center of excellence. You're welcome to the state of aquatic splendor. You're welcome to the commercial, economic, political. Now this, I kind of feel sorry for the Nigerians for like a half a second, even though they knew what they were getting themselves right. into. Yes. But this is the governor's house in Lagos, and. He is talking like he is talking to royals where he's trying to promote tourism. Mm -hmm. And he's thinking the whole world's watching this right now. Okay. So he's like, you've got 
this going on. You, you got, got this, this. bitch. <laughs> now, the problem is these two are not influencers, okay? They are not going to influence people to go to Nigeria, especially like, you know, they sort of hang out with more left of center people. Nobody in their crowd who is homosexual is going to go to Nigeria. They just don't because you you can't. What are they going to do? Go hang out on the beach and make out with their boyfriend? Right. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Go, go get married to their their significant other that is the same sex as yeah, them. It's like, like how you can't have a wedding there. I know. Let's go get married in Nigeria, honey. I know. No. And I wouldn't go to Nigeria personally because I'd be like, well, I, if I all my friends could I have go. Way Why too, would I go? I have way too many gay friends yeah. <laughs> to even think about wasting my money to go to Nigeria yeah, on holiday. Right. But this guy's like promoting tourism and look at their faces. Like Harry knows like, dude, this is so embarrassing. And she's like being serious for a second. I want you guys to see this one part where you know how she's always like, <laughs> and then she does yeah, that yeah. one clap. Yeah. Yeah, she does this here, but the guy next to her and his family, he's not having it. Oh, okay. Entertainment capital of our country. And Megan's for seven cents of Nigeria. So we'll speak with you about that. <laughs> See, she does that clap thing. Uh... This dude next to her, he's like, yeah. Why is this woman looking at me and laughing? Yeah, he goes, I'm being, because you know, this is the governor's uh, house. house. Is that yes. what you're saying? Well, that, okay. Yeah. That's so that's a governor. big deal to be there. And for, for them, you know, not for Megan and Harry, but for them, that's a big deal to open up their home. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a big deal. But he's, he is looking sort of like, well, we're being serious. You're welcome to this. You're welcome to that. And you're welcome to this. We're not, we're, we're not making light of this. You're, you're actually, we're, we're, we're trying to repay the favor by talking about tourism right now. Yeah. Right, the confusion. Megan is literally looking at them right now, doing that hysterical laugh that she always does, guys. This is the reaction she got. I just want everybody to know that, okay? I did not doctor this video. You can find it on your own. This is the reaction she got when she turned mm -hmm. and went like this. <laughs> <laughs> and that really is a true testament to, to her always having her mask slip. Because in any situation, she's always thinking, she's thinking, like, she's making fun of this dude. She can't just keep it together for five minutes. See, what the Nigerians are saying right now, they would give Megan the shirt off their back. They are being literal right now. They are not thinking it's funny that they are offering and saying, anytime you're here, right. you know, they don't see how that was funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what she's saying yeah. in, her, in her own mind. So this is when they get a gift from the governor and it's strange because Megan just wants to find the camera and be done with it. <laughs> she wants that check. Wow. <laughs> There she oh, is there trying to go. find the camera. And there's, oh, see, and there's Harry showing some sort of gratefulness to this, this man for giving him this gift. But Megan's got to cheat to the camera. Listen, at the end of the day, these are appearances. Do you guys remember like 10 years ago when the Kardashians were going to like those Vegas clubs? They were going to an arena yeah. and they were getting yeah. paid for their, their 21st birthday or their 30th birthday or their whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever birthday. Scott Disick always mm -hmm. used to go to One Oak. These are the One Oak appearances for Harry and Megan. At the end of the night, they're getting paid for this. I think a lot of the Sussex squad are confused and going, oh, look how nice these people invited them over. Yeah. No, they're getting paid. Yeah. These are paid appearances. Yeah. I want you guys to sear that in your head. Yeah, you got to understand Nigeria has a ton of money. The one thing Nigeria doesn't have is the kind of access to the world that they would probably like. But as far as money goes, they have plenty of money. Okay, no. this one's got to be my favorite. <laughs> what now? These like three kings. Mm -hmm. These three kings and bringing the gold. I don't know that song, but it always reminds me of that. Is that a Christmas? I don't know, but it always, I don't know. There's the song called Three Kings, I, I think. <laughs> so these three kings are talking to Megan. It looks like a restaurant that they're at. I don't know. It looked like a Morton Steak House, but um, nicer. But uh, th these guys are like talking. Oh, this is the ceremony where they're calling her mother where they're giving her that title. Right. And it's Mother's Day. The guys in the band 
You boy, can the boys tell. in the band. The boys in the band <laughs> do not like this. Oh. This is the thing about the boys in the band. They're having to hear this spiel about Megan having this title of mother. Mother, uh, and then she actually refers to it as the motherland. Now, you could probably tell that, you know, they they had mothers or have mothers at this time, and they actually respect their mothers. Mm -hmm. And they see this woman come in and try to act like this uh, grandiose person, and they look a little annoyed. Yeah. And they're just waiting to start, you know, their job so they can get out of there. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And you can definitely tell there's some resentment going on. So this is what I noticed about the boys in the band. The younger generation says, once the problem was placed in my head, I ceased to have an age. <laughs> <laughs> now the drummer is my favorite. Mm. He's the one who is really upset. And then the guy to the right of him in the lighter suit, he also is really ticked off mm. and annoyed. Just watch. <laughs> But I, am, I remain young at heart, and I know it's not easy carrying the weight that you do, inspiring, half-finding, but it gets heavy, and it's the only help as we carry out the inspiring. Paused it because look at the guy to the left. Yeah. <laughs> Can't, can't hide that. So even the guy to the left is annoyed. So I'd understand if it was like one guy annoyed, but you can tell the entire band is just not happy about either A, what they're hearing, or B, just the event they're at. They don't, they want to get paid and leave. Yeah. No band is there. What do you think? The band's there to listen to this crap? You're right. Oh. The name I have for is I mean, at one point, you would think one would crack a smile. Yeah. Not even. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Um, that shows you how. Uh, he just named her the mother name. Look at the guy who's going to play the drums. That's when you could tell, like, <laughs> something exploded in his head when he, when she got named. Well, that. I've heard Nigerian men revere their moms. I mean, oh. their moms are, you know, <laughs> the queen of the castle. They're way above the, their wives. hundred you know, percent. It's, it's yeah. a big deal. So, yeah, maybe. I You're think right. that's what's going on. <laughs> so, if I had to pick the goat of this video it would definitely be the drummer. Yeah. So then of course, Megan has to grab the mic. She has to grab the mic. This isn't planned. Nobody thinks she's making a speech mm -hmm. and you can tell. Now I've got to be honest, and this is allegedly, but this is my opinion. What is with her speech? She Not, not her actual word speech, like the way she's talking. As a, oh, like her diction and uh, her no, she's just the tinder of her voice. It, she's out of it. Yeah, this is my opinion. This is allegedly, but she's out of it in this. <laughs> just let me know what you think. <laughs> she has to grab the, mic. the way she grabs it. It's like <laughs> I'm grabbing sorry. onto or an oxygen mask. You know, if the plane <laughs> goes down, that's what it looks like. She's just woo. You know, I'm telling you, stuff like this never gets old whenever she grabs a microphone. This will never get no, old. It won't. I know it wasn't planned. Um, I'm very, very grateful and very humbled. And today's Mother's Day. So it feels appropriate that those. You know what? Appropriate. It, it's, it's the cadence of her voice that is annoying. It's the, it's the uh, uh, decibel, you know, where it's like, hi, it's appropriate. Yes. Gosh, I'm scaring my dog right now. I'm sorry. Know. And today's Mother's Day. So it feels appropriate that though, of course, we are missing our children, I'm missing my babies. It feels very appropriate to be on the motherland.
and amongst families. So thank you so much for the kindness and for the like when she said motherland and that dude just looks up. I mean, you can't fool real Nigerians. I'm sorry, but you're not going to be able to fool them. They listen, the Nancy, the band knows that they're what they're there for. Do yeah. you think that they said, hey, we're just showing up with these two dignitaries? Yeah. The band knows what's going on right now. Everybody on stage knows what's happening. Yeah. And everybody in those seats knows what's happening. Last one I wanted to just show you was, oh God, you know, Ms. Masan, Masan, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to stick to Masan because it probably annoys the crap out of them. Probably. And I don't care. That's exactly, you know, some people call me, you know, step on me. I mean, they don't, but you can really see Megan and Masan's relationship in this and how close they are and how their whole purpose in life is getting that picture, mm -hmm. setting up that picture and getting that picture. Yeah. And that's the only thing a, they care about. It's a long flight there, man. You got to just get it done. Get the money shot and leave. So I zoomed in for you guys. Here he is. And she just immediately goes to him and like, where are you going to be? Okay. You're going to be there. And you know, I'm sure there's a ton of videos like this of, of these two. But this one really stuck out to yeah. me as far as they like, both know why they're there. And it's sad to see. Do you see Harry Prince Harry on, on the right of the screen? It's just, you know, he's still trying to connect with other people. Uh, it really shows that he has his father and his mother still still in him somewhere, whether he has any kind of um, substance in him at this moment or any kind of alcohol allegedly uh he still has his mom and dad right there yeah. and you can see it mm -hmm. she she doesn't care she's looking at masan going okay when can we take this picture so i can leave exactly that's all, that's she, cares all she cares about. about and you guys can look for yourself i'm sure someone's gonna make i'm sure megan's mole probably already put out a video of this he's behind her the entire time oh yeah the entire time he should have been robocop Oh, I should have put him back there. I told, I actually, I that will. was a suggestion. I will. That was a suggestion. <laughs> I requested it. You said any request and I said, Miss on. Okay, guys, for our animal rescue, Miss Peaches got peaches. She got some Georgia peaches in the mail. Now, this is what's so great about it. 100% of the net proceeds go to helping animals. Okay. Not 15%, <laughs> not 5%, not 2%, not nothing that we know, like yeah. just proceeds. Okay. So uh, they all go to helping animals. So you have to just go to misspeachespeaches.com. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you the video right now. It's super cute. And uh, then we will put the link in the description below. Yeah. And you can get some yourself and have some fine Georgia peaches. <laughs> Miss Peaches, what are we gonna do? We're gonna announce our next big thing. Fresh Georgia peaches. Look at this, Miss Peaches. All direct from Georgia where you're from. We can get the actual, let me open. I'm gonna put you down, Miss Peaches. <laughs> The, look here, Miss Peaches. Actual Georgia peaches. Now you can't eat them. No, you. These are for humans. Fifty dollars with all the profits going directly to animal rescue and charity. Oh, Miss Peaches, you're doing pay. <laughs> you're doing so much good. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I know, in my life. and it's only only fifty bucks. That is so cheap. I mean, because you, you're getting something. And then you know the fifty dollars is going, yeah, to to help animals. I mean, now, that's in, Dave Portnoy is doing a great. But that's the thing. thing. Like, wh how do we know that? How do we know that? Because we can trust Dave Portnoy. We can trust him. Well, we follow the money back. We've done it before. Yes. Where we've entered our email into things. We've done things. We've actually sent money. That's that's the, what you got to remember. We've yeah. done so many videos about about Megan's charities and Harry's charities bumping back to various um uh vendors merch shops vendors yeah. yeah retail stuff now i'm not gonna say oh these uh georgia peaches is not a peach company and you can't buy other stuff from it however usually with what megan and harry do is they say five percent of the proceeds right. go to this and then you know or the necklace the yeah. necklace go buy the necklace yeah. buy the t-shirt yeah. buy, buy this, this. Some like that mother's day t-shirt oh, awesome. i thought that thing went 100 percent charity too. and it says some of the proceeds right that scares me whenever you see some 
of the proceeds. Yeah. You guys, Miss Peaches is not messing around. She's going to help animals. She's going to help dogs. Yeah. So. Miss Peaches, thank you for helping animals. Yeah. You are killing it in the in the pit bull rescue game. Yeah. And um, I'm going to get some of those Georgia peaches. Moving to the country, gonna eat a lot of peaches. Moving to the country, gonna eat me a lot of peaches. Bye, guys.